there, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video I want to show you how to add uh, quick effects to your personal photos, uh, basically to portraits. This effect works uh, best on close-up portraits like this one, but I'll show you this uh, technique on two images. And this is going to be, these effects are really easy to apply, so this tutorial is, is also good for people that are not very advanced in Photoshop and I just wanted to show you some of the effects you can apply. I used two images, I'll give you the links uh, to these uh, two images, uh, go to the description of the video and you'll find a link to my website and you'll find the links there. So you can apply these effects on on the same images that I have here on the screen or you can, uh, you can apply uh, the effects on, on your own photos as you watch the video because it's really easy. Let me show you the effect. This is one of the effects that I'll show you and the colors uh, will uh, depend on what you like. I'll show you how to how to change colors and I'll show you the other image. This is another image where I apply the same technique and added some texture. This is the original photo and this is the result. I applied the same technique as here but I used different colors so I'll show you how to do how to add this kind of effect. It's really quick. So what I'll do is delete all these layers. So once you have your photo opened in Photoshop, what I usually do is use a layer a gradient map. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is that you can you can do this in I'm using Photoshop CS6, but you can do this in Photoshop CS4, CS3, uh, or even CS2, and of course CS5 because all the adjustments are available in previous versions of Photoshop and even in Adobe Elements except the color balance is maybe not available but you can use other, uh, other adjustments for that. So as I said you add a gradient map first and the gradient map if you don't know what it does is it remaps the colors so on the left side uh, you have the shadows and on the right side you have the, the highlights even though this uh, gradient is inverted uh, but that's how it how it is. Here you have the shadows. You can see that the shadow areas are have this purple color, and the highlights um, the highlights are uh, orange. So and in between are the midtones. So what you do is uh, select the colors that you want. Usually, usually I like to use this uh, two colors, but of course uh, you can use whatever you like. You can use more saturated colors or less saturated. For this one, I'll use the middle. Uh, a middle uh, value for the saturation and click OK and now once you have that gradient map change its blend mode to screen and here is where um, this uh, will, might work different on your image because if the image is really bright you can see that uh, some areas don't look too nice and all you have to do is just change the colors and usually you don't have to change the the saturation just to move up and down here to make the color darker you can see how the image changes if you look here this part if I use a bright color uh, that burns the highlights so you can use a darker tone and increase or decrease the saturation I'll use this one and click OK and click OK again and of course you can play with the opacity but uh, let's leave the opacity as it is the next thing that uh, I do is use levels, so add another adjustment layer from here from the bottom icon and select uh, levels or let's use curves because it's easier to, to work with. Um, what you do with this adjustment is you click here uh, on this line and drag up or down and here you have the highlights and here you have the shadows but you know what, actually let's use the levels because I think it's even easier to understand that way. So add the levels. So here it's a lot easier. You can see the the icons here. This is black for shadows, gray for midtones, and light for highlights. And what I want to have is more light on the on the shadows. So what I do is increase the midtones a bit. So you can see this dark part becomes brighter, uh, just a bit like so, and maybe darken just a bit uh, from here. So let's leave it to zero and just just play with the midtones. And you'll be you'll be okay. And of course, this is just to add more, uh, as I said, a bit more light on the on the shadow areas. Uh, you can create a new layer, change the blend mode to screen, 
and then get the brush tool and right click make sure you have a soft brush so set hardness to zero and depending on the canvas size that you have you might use a you might have to use a big brush like this one I'm using a, a 2000 pixels uh, brush and select the color I'll keep the same uh, colors uh, yellow and orange so I'll get this orange color and just paint a glow of light here I'll make the brush even bigger so you might have to zoom out and just paint uh, a light like that and you can see that it's not looking nice uh, because I changed the blend to light instead of screen so make sure you have the blend mode on screen and paint once and if you see the light it's not big enough you can increase the brush size and you can also change the color and paint again on the same layer like so and you have this uh, glow of light if, if the light is too bright it's because you used uh, you use the color that's too bright just to move down here on the color picker and choose a darker tone and just do it again and once you have that if you want to control the overall uh, colors of this you can use uh, a color balance adjustment now this adjustment is not available in Adobe Elements as I uh, as I as I know but I'm not sure and I don't know why it adds uh, levels I want a color balance and I think uh, I'll add it from the menu so go to layer new adjustment layer and color balance and click OK and from here you can you have control of all the all of the shadows midtones and highlights let's start with the shadows so you can add more cyan on the shadows and you can uh, just shift the colors however you like then go to the midtones and do the same Also try uh, enabling and disabling the preserve luminosity option to see what it does and just uh, play with this the sliders and don't overdo the settings uh, you can see that it's not, it's not looking too nice if you do that let's go back to the midtones and maybe add more more red okay so if you like these you can uh, enable and disable this adjustment so you can see what you do and once you have that uh, you can maybe type your name the kind of um, fonts that work uh, with this kind of effects are handwritten fonts you can download you can download them from the internet and uh, maybe just type your name I'll type my name now Uh, this is not a photo of me, so this is not my this is not my face here. But um, I just uh, type my name. Uh, let's try this font. Anyway, you can try any font you like. Um, let's put the name down here, for example. Make it a bit smaller, like so. And if you want to add more more dreamy effect to your text uh, you can add an outer glow so you can double click on the layer and select outer glow and just increase the size and you're good to go you can also increase the range if you want a, a smoother transition and all, you can also try blend modes but the screen blend mode works uh, really well so you can leave that on screen and well you can type a quote uh, if you want uh, I don't know a personal quote of yours or a message or whatever you want and uh, you can uh, add it here you can also try the text using the soft light blend mode but without without um, the outer glow so that's uh, this is one of the effects that I wanted to show you I'll close this I will not save it because I, I want to have that previous uh, effect uh, this PSD files uh, are available for premium members on the website so if you're a premium member you can download this, uh, this, PS this PSD files now this is the second effect remember this was the original image this is a really a really nice picture so you can uh, you can see how you can uh, what you can do with this kind of pictures I wouldn't edit this because this is already a really nice picture so but I just wanted to uh, to show you how you apply this kind of effects to an image like this Again, uh, go to the adjustments, add gradient map. I'll use this default gradient, but I'll change the orange color 
because in this case I don't want uh, I want a really unsaturated image so you can see that now the shadows this color is only affecting the shadows and the highlights are almost white because this color uh, is really unsaturated you can see it's close to the white you can also see that value here uh, the exact value is 14 pass for saturation and click OK I'll change the blend mode again to screen you can try other, bl other blend modes if you want to and you can see that the highlights are really burned and you get this kind of a high key effect and if you want you can also try adding a hue saturation below the gradient map and desaturate the original image and that way you only have the color from the gradient map and but just uh, uh, and also some of the color of the original image but uh, not entirely so you can see how it looks uh, so you, I just desaturated the image a bit and used the gradient map I'll decrease the opacity of the gradient map a bit to 90% and once you have the gradient map you can create a new layer set the blend mode to screen and do that uh, glow effect again with the brush tool in this case I'll use the white color only and I'll paint uh, the right side of the image I'll have to make the brush a bit smaller 2000 pixels is enough just paint a small uh, glow of light there you've probably seen that uh, on CS6 the brushes go up to 5000 pixels in diameter in previous versions you can only go up to uh, 2500 pixels but if your picture is really big you can uh, use the maximum diameter and just paint twice uh, and that's and that's it another thing you can do is add some texture to this you can add the bokeh effects and what I did is just use some uh, an, an image from one of the packs that I have and I'll show you that this pack is available for everyone you can download it for free on my website uh, just let me find it so this is the pack you have all these lights uh, this and bokeh effect these are real uh, these are real lights uh, I photographed them myself and you can get one of the images uh, let's get uh, this one for example Control C to copy it and Control W to close the image and I'll select the top layer and press Control V to paste the image and you can see that the image is uh, really big so I'll press Control T to load the free transform and press the shift key and hold it and click and drag on this bottom right um, control point because I want to constrain the proportions and well let's leave it like that and press enter to accept the change and the way we blend this with the image is using the screen blend mode again and that way we get rid of all this black and all uh, that will remain are these uh, colors so set this to screen and you can see the lights there and what I'll actually do is leave you um, the original size of the image because I want do these dots to be bigger so I'll leave that there, change the blend mode to screen and you can see how that looks I'll maybe rotate the image like so and place it here and if you don't like the colors you can you can use hue saturation so you can press ctrl u to load the hue saturation and decrease the opacity I, I mean the saturation I'll leave it to 100% because I like the colors and if for some reason the background is not completely black uh, and that's a problem many of you um, ask me how to fix I'll go back uh, to, to where the image was black and I'll do this on purpose let's say uh, the original image um, was like this so the, black, the background was not completely black if you change the blend mode to screen you'll see that it adds more uh, more light to, it, to the image so the way you fix that is, you, is using levels and all you have to do is on the left slider just increase that uh, increase that uh, value until uh, all the black is gone and you only have that the light effects there basically what that does is it increases the contrast and because you're using the screen blend mode uh, the dark areas will go away but anyway just increase the darks and the shadows I mean and you're good to go so this is how you add quick light effects to your personal photos you can subscribe to my channel or visit my website i have a lot uh, a lot more tutorials there
So that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.